So hear me out. I know how hard it is to get family to upgrade their security. So I am gifting you this video. Share this video with your people so that they start upping their password game. Hey S'mores, welcome to Morse Code. I'm Shannon Morris. Let's talk password managers. So what is a password manager? Well, I'll let you know in just a sec, but also if you wanted to know the best password manager of 2022, check out my list, which I am also posting this week in a separate video. I will link that up here. So what is a password manager? Well, this is my own personal definition of a password manager, but I like to think of it as a way for you to allow your computer, your tablet, or your phone to remember all the passwords that you usually store in your brain. That's the very basic concept of a password manager, but it gets the job done. Now, I realize from your comments that a lot of folks either A, don't use a password manager because they don't trust them, or B, they use them, but not to their full potential. If that is not you, then great. I am super happy that you are already using a password manager and you're using it to its full potential. But it has been a while since I have touched base on the best of the best features and the functions of password managers. And it is 2022 now, it's a new year. So it's time to see what they can do nowadays. Today, I am stoked because RoboForm is sponsoring this episode, which is doubly cool because RoboForm has constantly been one of my favorite password managers to recommend to users for literally years. So I'm using RoboForm to show you what a password manager is and why you need to add this to your security arsenal to keep your data secure on the internet. RoboForm is a modern password manager that takes the stress and the hassle out of password management and memorization. It remembers all of your passwords. It can generate very strong new passwords for you. It will automatically log you into websites and it has this incredibly impressive form fill tool, which works for even really long forms like checkout cart screens with just a single click. You have heard me recommend RoboForm before in previous videos, not only on this channel, but on many of my other channels. And I have used RoboForm personally throughout the years, and I have also recommended it to my friends and to my family. Even better, RoboForm is giving you a great deal if you check it out via the link below in the show notes. Now this is my personal link just for viewers, so check it out to score yourself a very sweet deal. You have to click through to see the deal and strengthen your online security at the same time. All right, we all know that we need to use different passwords on every single site and those passwords need to be strong. Why different passwords? Well, it's because if a malicious attacker finds out your password for maybe Facebook, for example, they could then try that password on every other website that you might log into, like Instagram or Gmail or your bank websites or your company's internal intranet that'd be scary. They could also plug that same password into as many sites as they wanted. And if you reuse that password anywhere, voila, that's easy access for an attacker. So we use different passwords everywhere that we log in. But even if you use different passwords everywhere, if you use a really simple password, it's going to be really easy for them to break into anyway. They might even be able to guess what your password is. Whether that easy to guess password is your mom's birthday or your favorite song lyric, or a quote from a movie, or your cat's name. Maybe you shared a picture of your cat on Instagram and it's a public profile, and then somebody can check out the picture of your cat and find out what your cat's name is, and if you use that as a password, there you go. Some people use password one as a password, and if that's your password, then change it right now. That is one of the most commonly used passwords. Can you believe that? Really, it's one of the most common passwords. Password one, and I'm betting when it expires, it changes to password two. Don't do that, they're easy to guess. So passwords gotta be hard, but they also have to be unique. And I get it, that's where it gets tough. That's why a lot of times we end up with really simple passwords. Sadly, passwords are getting easier to hack and easier to steal from people as well. And it's becoming faster to brute force those passwords or break into those passwords. And not all websites are going to do their absolute best to ensure that they are storing your passwords in a protected way, like with great encryption or deliciously salty hashes. That's a story for another day. So as a consumer, as somebody who logs into these websites, you got to do your own due diligence and create hard, complicated passwords. But who wants to remember every single password that you use online? I have over 200 accounts for online websites, be it for utility bills for our house or, or HOA for a neighborhood, uh, banking, social media, email, YouTube, where you're watching this, I have a login. Ain't no way I'm remembering all of those passwords. There's no way that I could. And I can't tell you how 
how many times I have helped family members set up new phones or laptops and they don't remember the passwords in order to get it set up. So they end up creating a new one right on that spot or they just reuse a password to get past that step in setup with the intention to change it later, but that never happens. Or maybe they write it down in a notebook stored in their house, but that's really easy to guess and that notebook could be destroyed in a flood or a fire. So what do we have to fix all these problems? Password managers, why remember a password when you don't have to? You can let a password manager do it for you. Why try to come up with a unique, unguessable password for every single website that you use? Just let a password manager do it for you. Save yourself some time. Why store your passwords in a notebook that might get destroyed in a fire or it could fall apart over time if it's years old? I have an answer. Let's use password managers instead. This is why we have password managers. Managers. And in my opinion, these password managers take the onus and the responsibility off humans and our brains that easily forget things and it puts them into a computer program. These tools should not only store your passwords, but they should store them in a secure way, but also retrieve those passwords automatically whenever you hit a login screen. It should automatically fill in the username and the password prompt so you don't have to fill it in yourself every time you're trying to log in. And it should be fast with doing something. So in fact, your password manager should do this faster than if you were to type in your password yourself each time. That's convenience plus security, which you almost never get in the security and cybersecurity front. Advanced managers like RoboForm can also generate new passwords for you so you never have to waste time trying to think of a new and unique one each and every single time you make a new account on a website. So if I create a new account on a website, like a shopping site, I can ask my password manager to generate a new, strong, secure password for said site and it will remember it for me. On RoboForm, if I really want to go crazy, I can generate a password that is 500 characters in length. Assuming that the website will accept a password that's 500 characters in length, I could totally do that. See, I like to tell people that my passwords are so complicated that I don't even know what they are, and that's straight up the truth. Nor can I guess them, because my password manager created them for me, and all of them are unique, and all of them are really long, so I don't, I don't know what they are. So that's the basic concept of using a password manager, but why should you trust them? By the way, I did want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, including Dan, John, Dwayne, and Dark Mage. It's been a while since I did a shout out since I haven't done videos in a while, but patrons do get store discounts in a monthly live stream. So check out the link below if you're interested in supporting the channel. So trust is tough when it comes to data and you have every right to be skeptical about any tool that you use or download. Your password manager should offer encrypted storage and strong authentication options for when you want to access those saved passwords. For example, RoboForm uses AES 256-bit encryption with PBKDF2 SHA-256 hashing algorithm, and they do offer two-factor authentication via app. They also have a built-in 2FA tool, so you can generate 2FA codes for all of the websites that have 2FA enabled. If you have not watched my 2FA videos explaining how all of that works, check them out after this video. They are on this channel. You should also have have the option to have your password manager use local only storage and not force you to sync up to their server. This is really useful if you are somebody who is very, very security conscious. If you want self-hosted for all of your products, then choose a password manager that has a self-hosted option. A lot of people worry that their loved ones won't have access to their passwords if something were to happen to them. But a good password manager, especially now in 2022, should have some sort of account recovery access. RoboForm does have an emergency access feature that does just that in the event that something happens and you aren't available to unlock your database of passwords. There are so many things that a password manager should be able to do for you in 2022. And I am glad that I was able to use RoboForm for this password manager explainer video since they have grown their product over the years to include everything that I would expect. And this is an independent company who has been doing a lot of production and implementation of really cool features 
features even over the past just two years. And I have high expectations when it comes to security and privacy, so I have no issues recommending good password managers. There are so many more key features that you should look for that I didn't even have time to cover today. So this week, I do have another video coming out comparing all of those top password managers for 2022. That video will be posted here along within the show notes so you will know which password manager will fit your needs the best. And yes, RoboForm is included in that lineup just like they were a couple of years ago. If you have questions, I love this topic, so make sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more security and privacy videos. I'm Shannon Morse. This was Morse Code. See you next time. Bye, y'all.